What happens to your brain when you stop eating sugar? You go into a pastry shop, the smell of the freshly baked cake hits you, and you start craving all these sweet delights. As humans, we crave sugar and everything sweet, from cakes, ice cream, lollipops, and everything in between. That is because sugar is brain food. Sugar releases brain chemicals like serotonin that make us feel good, but what happens to our brains if we stop eating sugar altogether? First, we need to know that sugar is not always bad. A balanced sugar intake in general does have its benefits. Eating food containing natural sugar provides energy for our muscles. It also keeps our body healthy and our metabolism stable. But a higher consumption of added sugar has its bad side effects. Eating excess refined sugar is shown to affect the liver and the heart, increase food addiction, and lead to obesity. Furthermore, some researchers believe there is an indirect link between sugar and certain types of cancers. But quitting sugar altogether is not that easy and can lead a person to experience multiple uncomfortable symptoms. Some people have reported experiencing headaches, fatigue, and mood swings. Scientists are still trying to figure out the reasons behind these negative side effects, but it's most likely related to how our brain functions when the reward response is triggered. Table sugar, known as sucrose, activates the sweet taste receptors in the mouth, which causes dopamine to release in the brain. Dopamine is a chemical that helps nerves in the brain communicate, but it is also a chemical that makes us feel great pleasure and joy. Sugar triggers the reward system in the brain, which in turn releases dopamine, and so we are more likely to repeat any behavior that causes the dopamine to be released. Some experiments have found that intense sweetness can be even more rewarding than cocaine. Other experiments conducted on animals have found that the notion of sugar addiction could be very much plausible. They found that these animals experienced induced binging, craving, withdrawal anxiety, and relapses similar to those related to drugs. Scientists believe that the same reward pathways in the brain are shared between humans and animals, most likely due to evolution. That's why physical and mental symptoms can be observed in the early stages of sugar withdrawal in humans. These symptoms include depression, anxiety, brain fog, and dizziness. When sugar is completely cut out, a remarkable decrease in dopamine will cause many brain pathways to not function normally. This chemical imbalance in the brain is most likely the reason behind those unpleasant symptoms reported by people who have cut sugar from their diet. A change in the brain's chemical balance is most likely behind the symptoms reported in humans who have reduced or completely removed their sugar intake. As well as triggering the reward system, dopamine also regulates hormonal control, nausea, vomiting, and anxiety. Cutting out sugar from your diet is not always a healthy solution. That's why eating in moderation and keeping a healthy lifestyle is always the best course of action. Did you know that a long time ago when our ancestors foraged in the forest for food, the sweetness was an indication that food was safe to eat? What about you? Do you prefer sweet or salty food? Share your thoughts in the comment section.